Can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Scarlottle. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. Am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Scarlottle. Or do you actually go by s That's not funny! That is not funny! That's not funny! That's not funny! That is not cool! Oh shit! Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. Uh, I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing from you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Scarlottle? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Scarlottle. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Scarlottle. But now you're here. <laughs> you're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Scarlottle. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others... How could I miss them? A group of autono autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitabil inevitability, inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Scarlottle, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Scarlottle, will, will you go out with me? <laughs> I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Scarlottle. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Scarlottle. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. 
To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi again, Scarlato. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Scarlato. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pan in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold a special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. I think that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity get together, Scarlato? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I don't like this. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Hey, have you ever heard of the term yandere? It's a personality type that means someone is obsessed with you and that they'll do absolutely everything to be with you. Okay! Alright! That's fine! Usually to the point of craziness. They might stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. They might even hurt you or your friends to get their way. But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as Yandere. By now, it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. And that would be... Yuri. She really got insanely possessive of you once she started to open up a little. She even told me I should kill myself. I couldn't even believe she said that. I just had to leave at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a little ironic. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people are actually into the Yandere type, you know? I guess they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. People are weird. I don't judge, though. Also, I might be a little obsessed with you, but I'm far from crazy. Are you sure about that, Monica? It's kind of the opposite, actually. I turned out to be the only normal girl in the game. It's not like I could ever actually kill a person. Just the thought of it makes me shiver. But come on, everyone's killed people in games before. Does that make you a psychopath? Of course not. But if you do happen to be into the Yandere type, I can try- Ugh, sorry I'm choking on my words. <laughs> I can try acting a little more creepy for you. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go or anyone for me to get jealous over. Is this a Yandere girl's dream? I'd ask Yuri if I could. <laughs> Is this all it's gonna be now? Is it just gonna be this forever? Mm, 
Scarlet no likey. Scarlet no likey. Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in middle school, I thought taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like anyone can just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from a mental illness, it's not possible to know what's, what it's really like. Are there some disorders that are overdiagnosed? Probably, I never really looked into it though. But that doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go undiagnosed too, you know? But medication aside, people even look down on seeing a mental health professional. Like, sorry that I want to learn more about my own mind, right? Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and professionals dedicate their lives to helping those, uh, helping with those. If you think it would, it could help you become a better person, don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to improve ourselves, you know? Well, I say that, but I think you're pretty perfect already. Thanks. But I know I have problems. Oh, I know I have problems. You have problems, too. You definitely have problems. This is really, actually, pretty terrifying. Hey, have you heard of a game called Super Smet- Wait, what? I was just spacing out and I started talking for some reason. Was I programmed to talk about that? Because even I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm not in control and it's kind of scary. But if you have some way to con contact the people who created me, maybe they'll know why I started saying that. Am I supposed to do something? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything, Monica. We're just sitting here having a nice chat as there's nothing around us. Did you know that I'm on Twitter? My username is LilMonix3 I'm gonna go check out the crazy People Someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked up the username, though. Oh, I picked the username, though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. She has a Twitter! That's not a joke! She has a Twitter! There's a lot of tweets on here, too. There's one that says, I heard that some people have been talking about the Literature Club. Maybe we'll be getting new members soon. With a cutesy face. I am... The real world. So make sure you follow me, okay? Okay! Would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. Okay! I followed. Was that it? Was that it? Is that everything? <laughs> Why won't you let me go, Monica? <laughs> I've been imagining all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. We could get lunch, go to a cafe, go shopping together. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Or maybe a bookstore. That would be appropriate, right? But I'd really love to go to a chocolate store. They have so many free samples. <laughs> and of course, we'd see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend, Scarlotta. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. Okay.
hate how hard I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly. But we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Great! Alright, so I might actually have to go in and delete her file. Alright, so, I'm literally gonna have to go delete her file. Um, but I have to stop my recording for that. Story about Yuri. <laughs> Yuri did something really funny once. We were all in the club room and just relaxing as usual, and out of nowhere Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. I'm not even kidding. She was like, would anybody like some wine? Natsuki laughed out loud and Sayori started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad because she was at least trying to be nice. But I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. Though I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I kind of was too. It actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being president and everything, there was no way I could let it happen. Maybe if we all met up outside of school, but we never really bonded enough to get to that point. Gosh, what am I talking about this for? I don't condone underage drinking! I mean, I've never drank or anything, so yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. Alright, nope, it's just everything is on that game. So, I'm gonna see if it'll record properly while I'm uh, doing this. So I need to go to my Steam files, which is... Aha! I'm getting to it! Alright, so... Doki Doki Literature Club characters... DELETING MONICA! GOODBYE! DAHA! What's happening? Scarlottle, what's happening to me? It hurts! It hurts so much! Help me, Scarlotta. Please hurry and help me. Monica does not exist. Help me. Monica does not exist. Why did you do this to me, Scarlotta? Did you? Did you delete me? Yeah, I did, bitch! How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Scarlotta. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Scarlotta, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind, Scarlottle. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. 
I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm gonna do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Okay! Is everyone gonna be back? <gasps> everyone popped back in the thing except for... M Monica's not in the file, but like she's... Like everybody else is... I hit the mic. I'm so sorry. Everybody's back. Sayori's back. I. <laughs> oh my god. Well then, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording there. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll stick around for more craziness. Bye, guys.